Welcome back everyone, let's play Wii Skate! This is the face of a granny that is ready. I should try to just get a snowboard though. Do I have any special snowboards? No. What are the ones do I have to choose from? A lot. And they're all just kind of... Whatever they are. I don't, I still don't know, I'm get, I still don't know if these brands are like fictional or what. I don't know why they would show the brands though. It's, it's kind of weird to me. There we go. Kind of penguin colored. A little better. Alright, so today... I guess we're going to do stuff on a snowboard for the first time, which I'm guessing doesn't change any actual... anything? I mean, haven't done much at night time, so let's go back to night time. Can you have s lessons at night? Out of curiosity? There we go. Found him. Guess we'll find out. This place is still so pretty at night, though. I don't remember the mountain very well, like, at all. And then again, I don't remember this place well, either, at all. But I don't think the mountain has any lights at night or anything like that. I think the mountain is just kind of scary at night, if I remember right. Anyways. So I'm pretty sure the controls are exactly the same. Yeah. So it's kind of weird playing this with a snowboard. Oh. No, wait. Hello, sir. Hi, snowman. What was that? So tricks. Why not? So I guess this is the same thing as just doing the tutorials normally. Just out of curiosity so I can see. See if we can do it at nighttime though. It's, it's gonna be kinda weird if it actually turns out to be day. It's day, okay. So I don't think these control any differently, but I'll take a look. Okay, so this is kind of SSX tricky ask, or SSX in general ask. Huh. Do, tri do points actually work differently on skis? I don't know if you do grabs on skis. I think on skis you just do tricks that have a beginning and end. Either that or I just never did grabs back in the day. I used to play those. No, maybe you can do these the same way. As for movement though, you control your movement the exact same way. Controls are exactly the same if I remember right, yeah, on a snowboard. Just kind of weird because you're kind of pantomiming. Because you're pantomiming using skis, but you're on a snowboard, so it's kind of weird. But you do get something for completing. You do get some stuff for completing all of these tutorials, so I'm gonna, as time goes on, slowly do these one by one. Alright. I've done this a few times with the skis actually, it's just called something different. It does seem like the skis and snowboard have totally separate controls, or controls. Totally separate tutorials, even though they control exactly the same. They basically just have the words switched out, which is a little awkward. I also accidentally did a tweak. I'm guessing a tweak is just by moving the Rear mode and nunchuck away from each other. Oh, up and down. Okay. These ones, at least, you don't actually have any real need to see it an example, so you can go through them a little bit more quickly. If I want to do, it, do this here, if I want to use a half pipe. Like that. Oh, I like that. I was trying to do another one. Darn 
Oh, hit the mic. There we go. Oh, it doesn't count it though. It's unfortunate. It, also, you still have to like pump the same way you would with skis when you're on a snowboard, which is really awkward. They really transparently just map the ski controls onto a snowboard, which does not make sense. Just to prove I can do something a little fancier, just for fun. I think it's called a corkscrew with the skis as well. Yeah, just to have it done. It's like doing the trick book in SSX Tricky. Hello. Hi. So you actually, well, you guess I've been tricky too. I tried to do that. Snap. Okay. <laughs> Outwards, not inwards. But thank you. Still love that icon. Oh, hey, we have the same brand of board. Although my board's a lot smaller. I kind of wish I could go in the half pipe, though. That'd be fun. We have to spend some time playing around over here later. There we go. Jeez. Sorry, whenever I hit the mic, what happens is the cord of my nunchuck hits the mic. I've done shifties a lot of times, totally by accident, so I'll probably do it again. Oh! Not right, okay. Well, that dialogue might forever be lost to me, but you guys can just pause me and rewind if you particularly care about it, so all is well. I get tired so much faster playing this than I normally would while I'm recording it because I have to hold my arms straight out. Wait, that was actually what I wanted to do. I want to make sure real quick. Nunchuck is working. Unplug, replug. Because I, I, there's a space occupied by the platform that I keep my microphone on, so I need to either have my arms underneath that little platform, which restricts my movement extremely. There you go. Or I have to keep my arms above, which means keep my arms straight out in front of me. I've already done all these things. Why can't I just like do them all to prove that I can do them? And just test out of this. Oh, you can only do it by pushing forwards. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Okay. You can just keep doing a bunch of 180s and they all count as 180s. 360s, which they already told me about, can be stacked to do bigger rotations. Oh, you can also do another 180 on top of it, it looks like. Interesting. At least we can experiment and figure these things out. I like that there's actually a zipper on the back of this penguin head. I don't think there's a zipper anywhere on the, on the suit part. I don't really know how you put that on and take it off. Oh, come on! That was beautiful. You need to land properly. I don't know if anything other than a 360 will count, though. So you need to tap the stick repeatedly really, really quickly, though, for it to... Oh, God. Come on, that was beautiful. So you can only rotate so many times, though, up to a 1080, I think. And then you can only do one more 180 after that. I don't think you can actually... Do another 360 after that. Sure, I figure we might as well just finish these tricks now, and then after that we can not worry about this anymore. Although I'll probably have to do the basic snowboard tutorials later on, but I'll wait a while before I do that. Same with the ski tricks. I've already done that. 
Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So you only need to move the nunchuck to do... Flips. I was always moving the, moving the Wii Remote as well. I don't know what the point is of only moving the nunchuck on it, really, but... Still a little quirky getting it to sense the movement sometimes, but why why aren't all flips just one tutorial? I don't know why he keeps talking about B and Z. Let's get going. Crouch. Thing is I've done lots of these tricks. In the midst of all these other ones. Anyways. I've done Twisters so many times. Because that's usually my go-to trick. I think Twisters just give you more points than anything else. Hello? For no real reason. It's supposedly more complicated to do, but it's no more difficult. I don't think I've actually said how you do it. The game will tell us how you do that particular trick later on, I guess. I don't think I mentioned how to do it in one of the earlier episodes. Uh, I was trying to back it too. Like that. Rotate in every direction. Sure. Sounds a little bit more interesting. And I actually don't know how to do it. Hello? New mail notification is in the way of the episode time. How long have we been doing this for? Alright, a couple more. Oh, okay, so we're at the end of this anyways. Because these are most the most complicated tricks you can do, I'm pretty sure. Corkscrews are the same thing, but just holding down instead of up. I tend to, yeah, there we go. Corkscrews. I tend towards corkscrews instead, just because it's easier to press down the D-pad than up, because it's closer to the A button. Okay, we'll get this done. Then you won't worry about tricks for a while longer. I'm not trying to do another corkscrew! <laughs> I don't know why this game has a tendency to make me do the same trick another time. I wasn't even holding the D-pad anymore when that happened. But you can see the tricks, you do the tricks so fast. I'm not really sure what the point is of this giving you more points, aside from the fact that it takes slightly longer to do. But even then, not really. <laughs> the nunchuck is not very good at determining. Oh, that's a, you, you, there is another trick. The game's not very good at determining when I'm s swinging the nunchuck. It might just be the emulator or my actual old nunchuck I'm using or something. I'm not sure. I didn't know there was another trick though. Cool. Hello. Okay, so here's a more tri tricky one. So you have to be holding up though. Okay. I forgot about this. This is the only one where you press C. I don't know why that is. I don't know why you... Yeah, this one's actually longer. I don't know why... I wasn't holding any of those buttons anymore. I don't know why it does that. Like I get it if it thinks that I'm shaking the controllers again, but I'm not pressing the buttons anymore. I don't know. One thing that bugs me about this is you have to hold up on the D-pad instead of. Hey, I didn't see the guy on the left there. Ow. 
You have 12 up and stay down, whereas other groups are going down. Oh, there's Flatland. I forgot about that. I should do this. Is that using C? B. Oh, let's see if we can do this on our own. You just hold it? I don't, I don't think there's any like balance element to this or anything like that. Doesn't seem like it. I don't know if there's anything fancier you can do with these presses, like, um, spinning around. I do actually practice with rails, because I haven't been able to grind on anything very well this whole time. I know. So, I guess I just need to practice it, because I've had a bit of a hard time with this for some reason, actually staying on the rail. Whereas here, I'm having, not having too bad of time with it, for some reason. It's time to snap to it in a weird way. Oh, these are boxes instead of rails, that may be part of why. Does that count? Okay. A little awkward. Yeah, rails give me a hard time. I guess just because it's really small, but at the same time you kind of snap to them, except you snap and them tend to fall off. Next lesson. I know I'm going over some time, at least I'm pretty certain that I am, but I might as well finish these. Sure. They didn't really tell me how to do any of these things. I can practice on my own. Okay. Nope. Not too awkward, you just have to get used to it. <laughs> and not accidentally do tricks you're not trying to do. I don't know how many tricks I actually have to do for this to count. I don't know why this game lets you do as many tricks as it does. You notice that lots of these games seem to have points anyways. Is that satisfactory? It was. Good. Is that everything? Oh jeez. Let's get it done. There's not more to this than I remember there being. I know that. That's really not too hard considering that one of the tricks I can do gives me 45 points. Of it anyway, somehow. Is it one, just in one combo or just in general? I need to get here because that's extremely easy to get in general. <laughs> as long as the game recognizes all your inputs, like trying to jump, for instance. Probably not the place for a corkscrew, admittedly. 
I have to see if it... I guess I just have to try this out and see if it, what it thinks if I just get 70 points total. Because I think it wants you to do it. a combo of that many points. That, that could actually be a little bit tough. Well, that's not that bad. Oh, it's kind of fun to actually get to do some trick things here as well. Okay, you just not doing. That was a really delayed response. Okay. Now we're done. Okay, now we're done. All right, so I'll see you guys next time. The next episode. Jeez, Bye, everyone. And it's night time. See you next time when we have Snowman with us, I guess.